This is Salim. He works in Universal Brushwares. He just got a very big promotion to team leader. Let's see what actions got him there. Salim's boss, Rizwan, is introducing a project to get the production time down to 20 seconds. Salim is candid, not afraid to voice his opinion in front of his seniors. He proposes a way to get the time down to 15 seconds. Rizwan expresses recognition of Salim's initiative and makes him lead on the project. Salim gets to work, but his experiment doesn't quite work out as planned. Salim doesn't get discouraged. He knows that at Universal, one must have courage to falter, as long as one is trying something new and learning along the way. Salim doesn't blame others. He takes ownership over his mistake, determined to find a solution. Rizwan encourages Salim's attitude and trusts he will persevere. Later that evening, Salim is acting like a true owner. He takes personal responsibility and ownership over the machine with passion and perseverance and isn't afraid to get his hands dirty. Next morning, Salim and his team resume working on the line. Rizwan suggests an important change, but everyone puts up resistance. Not Salim. He believes there is always a solution, approaching each problem with an open mind. Salim recognizes that saying no holds us back, while yes gets to push the boundaries and achieve our potential. All he needs is a new machine part. Salim instills the culture of yes among his team members. Salim goes to the market to purchase the required part. Salim is thrifty, always looking to do more with less. He believes everything is negotiable and doesn't look to increase budgets. Salim could have taken the easy way out by paying more, but he spends time and effort negotiating down the price. Rizwan appreciates Salim's efforts. After installing the new part, Salim gets working on bringing down the time. Salim is results-oriented, focused 100% on delivering results. He is determined to get the line working faster. When things don't go exactly according to plan, he swiftly overcomes the obstacle and does what's required to get things right. The line is working well at 15 seconds, and Salim has achieved his target. But he still isn't 100% satisfied with 15 seconds. Salim sets a high benchmark for himself and is determined to reach it. He is always raising the bar for himself and his team and is uncompromising in reaching these high standards. Rizwan recognizes Salim's achievement. Everything seems to be working smoothly at Universal Brushwares. Oops! Forgetful Faisal, the storekeeper, has locked the store and left the keys inside. The customer needs an order urgently, but the goods are locked inside. Everyone panics. Salim quickly evaluates the risk. If he does nothing, he will lose the order and leave the customer unsatisfied. But if he breaks the glass to enter the stockroom, the glass repair cost will be much less than losing the order. He checks if he's breaking any company rules. He's not. Salim chose action first. Instead of overthinking, Salim quickly assessed the risks and moved forward with action. The goods are now in hand to deliver to the customer. But the delivery van is stuck in traffic and can't make it back in time. Salim makes it his personal mission to get the delivery to the customer on time, despite the obstacles. Salim delights the customer and in return earns his trust. Salim is a true customer fanatic. He is passionate about making that extra effort to always exceed the customer's expectations. Back at the Universal Brushwares boardroom, Rizwan rewards Salim with a big promotion to team leader for his outstanding results. Salim celebrates this win with the team and recognizes their contribution. He knows it would not have been possible without a team effort and without Rizwan empowering him along the way. Salim continues to be thrifty in every little way. Our principles, candidness, courage to falter, ownership, culture of yes, thrift, results orientation, raising the bar, action first, customer fanaticism, recognition.